This video tutorial covers the Gem in a Box Spatial Lab, which describes sales territory design in Ohio. The things we'll cover in the tutorial are the importance of sales territory design. We'll go for, through the Gem in a Box scenario for an overview. We'll talk about how you open and use the Spatial Lab instructions, the steps that you're going to do, and the written answers that you're going to submit. So let's start with an overview of sales territory design. This is a very important part of sales management because it organizes the sales force efficiently. It identifies particular customers for each sales rep, which means that there's going to be less cannibalistic competition for the same customers. and allows each representative to get to know his territory well uh, and build relationships with the customers in that territory. The reason to seek a well-designed sales territory system is that it gives each sales rep a chance to cover the territory in, in her area and achieve the greatest efficiency. The sales potential of each sales territory is roughly comparable so that each sales rep feels like he or she has the opportunity to, to perform well and it balances the workload so that each customer gets the proper amount of customer service attention uh, from the sales representative. In this particular case we're working with the gym in a box scenario. A personal trainer has designed a portable system for use with uh, his customers when they when they travel. His clients found it hard to work out on a regular basis as they traveled so he has designed this system that they can carry with them uh, and he wants to sell it through retailers to consumers and to hotels and motels for guests in their rooms. He wants to focus on the state of Ohio as he started in Columbus. He wants to establish a sales office in each of the six largest cities in the state and build a territory system around those. And he wants the territory system to balance the workload and sales potential of each one of the territories. And he has retained you as the business GIS consultant to help him with that task. In this special lab, you will load a set of instructions that will take you through that process and help you make that decision. To access that lab, you will open the map, which you've already done in order to see this video tutorial, uh, and you'll click inside the state of Ohio to get to the pop-up that you've already used. Using a double-click or right-click operation, you'll save the video tutorial, see here Jim in a Box Spatial Lab, you'll save that to your local drive uh, and then you'll open it. Uh, and you will then follow the instructions in the tutorial. You'll use those steps to explore the distribution of sales equipment sales in Ohio. You'll look at one solution that is suggested by Jeremy, an equal county solution that tries to, to equalize the, the, the number of counties and therefore the workload in each. Uh, then we'll talk about the uh, procedure for rebalancing territories and how you move from an unbalanced solution to a more balanced one. You'll look at a balanced territories design and use data from the system to evaluate the balance of that territory and then you'll recommend one of those two to Jeremy. So let's move over to the to the uh, spatial lab itself and this is what it looks like as you load it. And this spatial lab will walk you through the steps and the procedures that we have just described. As we move through you get a quick introduction to Jeremy's situation. It describes what his goals are uh, for this organization, how he happened to create this system and how he wants to use it to build his business. You will be walked through the process of opening the, the map which you already have. Uh, you, will, you will see where the sales offices are and the distribution of sports and recreational equipment purchases across the state of Ohio. Uh, you will then move to one territory solution that's been designed with an equal number of counties in each one. That turns out to be about 14 or 15 counties for each of the territories and here's what that looks like and you'll see that on your map. You will analyze the balance of that system by looking at a number of charts uh, within the exercise itself. The charts indicate the number of counties, total sales and recreational equipment expenditures, and the number of hotel and restaurant businesses in each of the territories. You'll use these charts to answer question one on the relative balance of the equal county solution as a territory system. You will then read through a description of how territories can be rebalanced uh, within a business GIS system by taking counties from one territory and assigning them to another one. You won't get to perform that system, but you will get a chance to see the results when you look at the map of a alternative territory system that you see here in this map. You will also have the opportunity to assess the balance of this territory system by using pop-up windows and the dashboard to identify the, the relevant data for each of the territories and then record them in a table. You will then use that table to assess the balance of this territory design system relative to the equal county solution that you've already assessed. 
uh, you will use the table that you created from the data on the map to answer question two, and then you will answer question three on which territory system you will recommend to Jeremy. You will submit your work and report that your instructor will make clear to you about how you should submit that. Uh, and in that, you will answer question one using the information from the charts, information uh, question two using the, the data in the tables that you create, and then answer question three about which of those you recommend, and you will submit that report to your instructor uh, in the manner that they have designated. Uh, and that's a Gemini Box Spatial Lab system. We hope you, you enjoy working with it, uh, and good luck as you proceed.